Hello everybody, hope you're all doing great. I'm here to talk to you about Bitcoin to change, all right? Um, we had a pretty nice week last week. We close, I mean, I'm at the high, right? Uh, which is above our last weekly level here. We, we didn't sweep the high of anything, but uh, yeah, we, we close above, above the weekly level here. So rather sign of strength here. Now, that being said, we surely are at a very key resistance too, right? It's, I mean, it, key resistance is going to be marked pretty much by the whole upper zone above the above here but it's especially the 70 72000 here that's where we have a lot a lot of cells here right we can see the other book a spot of the book be being like yeah way beyond the 140 million mark uh, even at 200 million here and so you know that I've been using this to read the tops in this range, right? I've been pretty effective since the, the beginning. One thing I, I want to mention here, because we had a change of character, as, as you can see, since we printed the top, since we printed the top, uh, each time the 1% spread, Spread went above 140 million mark here. Yellow, yellow line. Um, yeah, that leads bearish move into a lower. Right? We did that three times until September, where well, firstly it went a bit beyond because the cell was here, so went slightly beyond it and that lay lead to a higher low structure for the first time so we, we had a change of character here and yeah higher low and higher high so you know we'll see where that leads at the end but uh yeah we'll, we have a bit less effective effective moves here right and obviously we had a and line resistance and value are high here. Now, in terms of counts, I talked about that potential diagonal the uh, last few weeks here. It's still very much valid. We went a bit beyond the trend line, but there's absolutely no invalidation you know, during a, a diagonal. Not unusual to have either under under throw or over throw like this, right? Quite the contrary, in fact. Now, if this is a right count, that that means that we will gonna go into retracement for a few weeks, right? I will expect at least a couple of weeks, but can can last even more. You know, j just based on how long. It, it took to to print that diagonal, right? So since beginning of August, so more than two months. Is, so you, you expect something a bit comparable. I will expect something shorter in terms of time, but still, we'll need some time to correct that if that's the right count. Uh, you know, ideally, with what we did here, you know, a rather not come back uh, below, the, you know, all the block of the preliminary supply of the trend uh, where we have a POC, where we have our 200 daily moving averages. But in theory, nothing impossible in validation will be so low here. So, you know, whatever. Um, that said, I, I can see more aggressive count going out because the, the diagonal is still very obvious. Resistance is very obvious here. You know, maybe that work out. Yeah, I mean, more okay, Maybe even it's going to be a major high, low, low, higher, and going to a lower low, or just work out uh, as a very, very classic, uh, yeah, diagonal one two and classic correction here. But I could also see something a bit more aggressive here, right? Into uh, some uh, 
does the idea just a one two one two and here will be potentially having finishing with one of lesser degree i would not be surprised if this is even much higher right we're gonna see uh later a bit more about that move uh, but potentially yeah i could see a break breaks through here already and consolidation higher so yeah that wouldn't surprise me uh, we do have overbought condition you know uh, up up to the daily so yeah to a 12 hour and, and everything below here um, so so yeah overbought condition we have sentiment into greed i've been remain into to green uh into greed since october 15 basically 16 for more than a week here while open interest have been growing here a lot uh maybe in, yeah this was chat here you know, also a major, major point, right? Uh, with open interest in dollar value, we are uh, same level that we were the previous time we topped. Right? I'm seeing a change of character here as well. So, uh, you see how we keep building up open interest while breaking this trend mark well the, the last time we we had well a bit of excitement so really grid getting trapped and and uh lead to an immediate rejection yeah as well and here things are a bit more funky right we're going beyond the our channel and uh and that level and yeah consolidating upward now we are seeing a slight change of character into that move compared to what we had so far since last week move uh especially no since uh no like yeah almost two weeks ago 10 days in so thursday i think it was october 10th uh you see so we initiated by short covering and then a uh, long jumping in into the trend right and there have been consolidation which lead to oe drop here so here in btc value for the oe um so yeah OE closing at mo mostly by by long closing into consolidation. So uh, you know uh, the late longs getting getting punished. Uh, each time it is the same, right? And like here, it's the first time we are seeing open interest trying to push price down. So uh, really active set of shorter trying to move price down for now we're still into a higher high higher low i mean um but yeah uh, it, if things really turn around here what i would expect is just well long capitulating and at that point would expect at least uh everything from here so from what I've been built doing that low. So uh, yeah, re retracements inside here sweeps the s s slows and, and see if we hold inside the 65 area. Yeah. But yeah, at that moment, if we start to see long puck, we, we are getting exposed to a, a replay of this, right? Because we will start to get back inside the range here. Yeah, maybe we'll, we see a deeper pullback. So now would be the question: Which count are we in? Is is it going to be just in a smaller retrace here, a quicker one into a smaller one two before we're really going into the third wave? Or are we in the idea of a diagonal here and, and going to retrace a lot more, or even something that I'm not mentioning, but you know, 
Maybe this is just a swing high and we're going for a low, low breakdown. For, for now, there's not really something telling me this is going to happen, but maybe we have a black swan event and uh, across the board, right? Uh, at the moment, for me, this is just classic consolidation, and again, yeah, still a uh, still a higher low. So we'll see. Uh, any any show that will have been taken here, I will, I will be taking profit here, at least partially. Right? If start to to go beyond that, well. We'll see, but we have a yeah, wide area of long liquidity here to take, so things can turn around. Uh, and so, yeah, I was saying maybe, I think I have to, yeah, I have to count here, in fact, basically. So I, I know my charts are slightly messy, but yeah. Marking out all of this. Um, so, so, you know, I could count this as a, as a full diagonal. So that, that would work for both count that I talked about before, right? If this is a wave one, well, it can be a diagonal and go to two. And if it is a diagonal, well, it could be an ending diagonal as a fifth, right? Uh, but so, yes, yeah, that's how I could count this and see us go into retracement here. And if things keep holding here and pushing us higher, you know, I make an ID here, can be different. Uh, that would be to the appreciation, uh, depending on what happened, if we go into a breakout here, do, do we go teleport higher and scrap that count and, and we see something else? We, we might find a one, two somewhere here, sub one, two, sub one, two, you know, we'll be into a third wave, right? If we are holding around here, maybe just we last low from uh, Saturday and still holding overall into the 767k. No, maybe maybe this is just a way four here and we are going for a five, which will be the breakout. And then this become a one and then we can have a uh, retracement slash consolidation at this point i would was a c diagonal holding but you know you can still be deeper so. uh but i, I will yeah rather see a, a consolidation at upper level in that sort of case because even if we are in a pretty uh yeah, pretty significant of board condition by the oscillators, RSI, the stochastic as well, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. Open interest, uh, the greed level that have been remaining pretty high for days. And that doesn't necessarily mean we have to retrace. It doesn't necessarily mean there is too much green we have to to punish uh, all the longs here you know when we go into a breakout after uh, a consolidation sentiment is greedy that's what happened during a third wave uh, condition are yeah market can oscillator can be pretty pretty overbought and yet as you see here for example for our was a lesser degree of four, jumping a, to a, a, a lesser time frame. Here you can see for a side of the board and, and we we'll keep going, right? So the grid level was pretty high as well. Uh, I guess here, yeah, we, we had overbought daily RSI here. Right, it started Okay, yeah, but still doesn't get us from moving like that. And open interest at uh, kind of the same thing, I think. Check for the comparison here, but you know, 
Yeah, you. You're going up here, Trace. Yeah. Long going into the train and still manage to pass. And so that's pretty much what I wanted to highlight. Quick look okay, between X here, we have a little bit of red here. Friday. So they were not pushing price. That's not worrying me much. Uh, you know, I mean, you see, just mean that. Between X is, is not the one pushing price higher, which anyway we don't necessarily expect here anymore because of of the inflow that is coming from ETS so or from Coinbase, etc. Uh, and so yeah, there's another one pushing here, so not much more to say about that. We know the resistance. Uh, BTC one high beat. No. Very nice touch of the trend line. Uh, what is micro strategy doing? Okay. That was Friday. Had a pretty nice ticker uh, rejection. It was a high bit of pretty overbought move, right? Co strategy is trading more than 2x uh, its nav value, so. Uh, yeah, count base not looking bad. Started early October. Um, Mara. The Mara is the Mara. That's minor, I think. Not working so bad. And yeah, there was something else here. Did you see Bitcoin inflow? So you, you can see this has been late, but later move since October 10 here. Been led by. Organic, organic buying. Right? We, have, we have significant inflow here between uh, two fifty BTC up to five fifty here. We're pretty consistent all days. So yeah, so significant inflow, significant buying. So an organic move to me. And, you know, I say I'd rather see not too deep correction because, well, when we are going into breakout, yes, things tend to, to be just shallow here at some point, you know, be, I, I think there is a lot of people on the side here uh, and say this because of the Greed level, even if the greed level seems high, I'm not so sure that the, a lot of people are well positioned here. So the move has been so aggressive in the 10 days here. Oh, sorry, you know, it's very steep uptrend, sideways consolidation. Uh, here we have a bit of dust, more both way liquidation. Okay, it's a steep up trend. Yeah, and now it's really this area where we may be cleaning in that, but there might be a lot of people waiting for that kind of of pullback to to really uh, start to enter a position here. As everybody is seeing, the obvious resistance we are. And a quick look at 
option and that kind of yellow. I don't know, by expiry we have end of October we have 4 billion and otherwise it's going to be end of the year. So 25 October. Uh, Max Payne 64k. We have, yeah, our major, major resistance here at 70k. I not so much here. Uh, I don't think I have screenshot from last week, but you know, uh, most of, lots of calls were into profit last week. Again, you know, going into a bit of change of character where the buyer get, get profit here. You got profit. Uh, now, yeah, uh, major resistance seventy k. And after you can you can see call spread out, but you know that's your major major level. Confluence with the rest. <laughs> End of December, so that's still far away. Okay. Big, big calls in balance here. We're in a 30 ratio. AT and 100K, you see people are really, really buying up a lot of calls here, which is tell you probably at least a part may have to do calculation more precisely, but at least a part of the of the short position that are holding from lower here. Right. Uh, let's see if we took the BTC value here because in okay, case so, well since then here we have just uptrend open interest here, which means there's a bunch of shorts holding still. Uh, the short m might be edged by the um, options calls here. We still give a <laughs> quite a wide array of of in between. <laughs> anyway, uh, out of pretty bullish, you know. Uh, even if you see this, you know you can see this as sales. Right, I mean it's the calls are calls are buys obviously, but that means uh, the market makers that sold those calls are shorts. So this is our sales, but that's also mean market maker have been able to here, for example, sell for six hundred million notional value. Of course, at one hundred k, so they can pretty much buy as much in the. A uh, perhaps market to 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 remain neutral and and banks is spread right. It's, that's why it's spread in fact. So yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, I wouldn't touch longs longs position uh, into this this at least small structure break. I'll probably hold that as well and wait to stop below the law that would have been formed after hypothetically breach this 68. Right, I'm going to put the stop here and see this is just the only sweep we get and we continue higher. We consolidate higher maybe. Uh, or if, we, if we're going for a full sweep of everything here. Yeah, 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 a bit of pullback, but still a, a strong trend here, as of now. So thanks for watching, and see you sometime. Bye-bye.